Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you very much for listening to this YouTube channel. September 13, Wednesday, our market dropped 81.02 points or down 1.3% to close at 6,149.18. Value turnovers at 4.5 billion pesos. So, so uh, regional peers also traded lower as we brace for inflation data sa US. No? So anyway, our market is just trading sideways with a downward bias and uh, sama mo pa ng elevated global oil prices. Uh, this is putting pressure on our market. No? So anyway, choppy trading session. No? If you also notice, there's nothing going on with the market right now. No? It's just that uh, some of the stocks are moving up ahead of uh, the special dividend announcement. Now we're talking about Semirara. No? Semirara was just trading around 28 pesos, 29 pesos like a few weeks ago, but right now it's close to 34 pesos. So it's one of those stocks that are very generous with the dividends. No? Uh, PLC, which also gives. Uh, annual dividend of around 5 centavos so, so at current price that's around 8% uh, is uh, slowly climbing no? talagang cash cow yan even before pa talagang the market is just not noticing it and right now t with gaming as a team ng market uh, Lotto, PLC, DG Plus is moving no? so PLC of course uh, is just getting rental income from Melco so whether may business or wala, they still get dividends or they get they get income from Melco, which was delisted uh, several years before. Oh. Anyway, uh, you can also notice that about this power, uh, which is a public float of around 20.05%, decided to do a buyback, no, only for them to cancel it or at least in a med nila. No? Uh, of course, as part of the index, you need to uh, have at least 20% public float. That's very crucial. You don't want a uh, hairline to be an issue unless, of course, sa they can do a uh, like a million pesos buyback or a million pesos shares buyback. This will trigger uh, the funds to sell about this power and cause some panic in the market. No? Uh, so they can purchase about this power lower. No? So, pwede naman nila sadyain yun. No? But of course, when removed from the index, uh, yun, they will, not become a, a, they will not become a blue chip anymore. And of course, this might cause uh, the cost of borrowing to go higher, especially with their bonds. No? Right now, kasi, diba, they have also issuing bonds left and right, even uh, their mother company, AEV. No? So anyway, San Miguel Group no, is also planning to strengthen its balance sheet as they eye an IPO of around 50 billion in preferred shares. This is expected as most of their preferred shares uh, will have redemption this year. No? So this is one of those companies who will issue preferred shares to pay their existing debt. No? So never ending utang lang. No? By the way, GMA also tapping around Facebook and TikTok views from January to August. No? So... Uh, yun, no? they're venturing into other platforms na. of course uh, VLL is also doing some uh, bonds no? 35 billion tranches within the next 3 years no? uh, RCBC is also finalizing a 20 billion loan deal to finance renewable power projects so other banks are also doing this na, no? on other news PHA decided to conduct its uh, stockholders meeting yesterday no? after some months of delay no? so it looks like the new uh, group finally took over the troubled company of Marvin de la Cruz no? so right now I hope the drama ends there no? so may new management na, no? but uh, estafa cases are being filed left and right here. No? MPI, you know, uh, one of their units in Manila is planning to upgrade 17 treatment plants to enhance nutrient removal capability, which is around 3 billion pesos. No? So after after MPI to after uh, being uh, when MPI will be delisted na next month, uh, it looks like you know. They'll be very busy preparing an IPO for their Metro Pacific Toll Road, 
Hospital and Maynilad, no? So of course, um, they will also test the market first, no? Saan yung may appetite there? Of course, Maynilad, uh, they need to do an IPO before 2027. Anyway, Meralco is recording around 8,544 customers who are participating in its net metering program which allows consumers with renewable energy to export their excess electricity to distribution utilities. FGEN uh, said that they already received the first shipment, shipment of liquefied uh, natural gas last month to be used to power its natural gas plants. No? So right now it's just consolidating and remember several weeks before they're, uh, they're anticipating or at least they're looking at a tender offer right now. Now, wala na in news. Ganun talaga pag wala naman talaga. Diba? Uh, yun, no? Tulog yung market right now. So most of the volumes are really in in gaming, no lot even Lotto surge today, no. So our passcode for today is Lotto, no. By the way, no whole sim, uh, which already discussed yesterday, no, uh, received a directive from SEC to conduct a second tender offer. Then we issue naman sa kanila yan, no? And congratulations for BS, uh, KBSC, no, as they finally. Uh, <laughs> conducted a public auction of around 450 million delinquent shares. No? This is a premium to the current market price which caused BSE to surge higher. No? But if you also notice, of course, uh, this is a de facto fundraising. No? Of, the, of course, the buyer is Echo Oil which is a, an affiliate of uh, Rafael Villavicencio. Uh, with regards to suspended stock ECBC, no, East Coast Vulcan Group, uh, it looks like they will the uh, suspension will be lifted anytime, no, as they already assigned around 486 million partially paid shares of ECBC to a third party, as agreed in their previous memorandum of agreement. Yung lang naman yung inyantay nila para mag increase yung public flow tas matutuloy na yan. Uh, so kung kung kailan may increase yung public float ni SPNEC, I don't know, no? They need to comply with that. And it's very easy to comply if they just know what to do. No? So, by the way, no, C-Rate, the, the, the parent firm of C-Rate, no, which is a city core, will be rolling out its a solar project after acquiring out $100 million loan. No? So again, thank you very much for listening. Stay safe. Bye.